Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to show how to use Tecla Structural Designer to design raft foundation. First of all, we'll start with model setting and we'll select the code. I'll select the ACI code and units, metric units. Then OK. After that, I will go to the model and then creating the grid from the rectangular wizard. Select the color of the grid. Next, next, next. I will use four base, six meter length in x direction and also four base with five meter length in y direction. Next, finish. Okay, I can just drag the 3D view and tilt two windows. After that, I'm going to create the construction levels. Here, I have the base level at 0, 0, and I will insert above one level. It will be SS level, structural slab level and will be unique and the spacing between this level and the base level has 3.6 meter press ok now i'll create the columns concrete columns base level top is the first floor level concrete grade will be 6000 columns 400 by 400 and reinforcement deformed grade 60 ok cover of concrete 40 mm then I will drag overall the base level columns created like this and here in the 3d also shown Okay, after that I will create the raft from foundations, then from rectangular. Okay, this is the property. Overhang is 500. This is the projection all around the columns. And overall depth I will use 300. Concrete grade 6000 PSI and the allow bearing capacity I'll keep it 100 ok the modulus of subgrade reaction I'll keep it for 1000 ok now by dragging a window over the base level and then after that I'll click on any column the raft foundation created like this in the 3d also it is shown after that i'm going to create the first floor slab first i'll go to the first floor level from the structure list levels then first floor level double click it will be shown here this is the first floor level then from the model, I'm going to create the first floor beams. Select beam and from down property list to the concrete beam and the concrete grade 5000 psi, section 250 by 500. Okay, and the steel reinforcement grade 60 and deformed. And the covers are 40. I'm going to change to 40 mm. Then I can drag over all the plan of the first floor. It will be created like this grid beams. Then after that, I will create the slab 
from this icon by clicking the slab I'm going to property auto design and the depth I'll select our own depth as 200 and concrete grade 5000 psi then by clicking on the panels I'll create the slab panels on the first floor level as you see slab created now I'm going to create the loading after that so going to the load load cases I will delete the snow load roof load also will be deleted I'll keep the self weight and dead and live loads then ok now from the down list of the loading I'll select the dead load then I'll go to the level load I'll use 5 kN newton ok and then by clicking on the slab the load will be created like this ok and I can hide the load from here on this list then after that I'll select live load from the list again the level load and I'll use 3.5 live load and by clicking on the slab also the live load will be created like this ok now I'll save the model I'll give name like raft save after that I'm going to create the combination from this icon load combinations from this window I'll go to generate then next and from here I will use only the one combination type which is 1.2d plus 1.6 live for sake of design of the raft then next next this will click then finish combinations are created like this and press ok now we finish the load cases and load combinations now I will go to the model then validate the model by clicking validate I will see there is one problem the model general supports supports exist with an area of the mat foundation it's okay because here if you see I model the raft while there is also pin support so I will delete all the supports by clicking here select the support one by one and delete now all the supports have been deleted and I'll go to validate the model again from this icon I think some supports are this not deleted okay now again I'm going to validate the model now our model validated after that I'm going to the analysis analyze all static from this icon finish the analysis now after that I will go to the design and design all static and as you see
see all members are pass columns and beans all are green okay now after that I'm going to design the mat foundation going to the base level then foundations then I'm going to design the foundation the mat foundation as you see it is all pass in green then I'm going to check the punching shear going to the foundation again and how to check the punching shear by creating punching check under the columns by clicking on the column itself like this you see the punching check area created or I can also drag like this onto to create all to create a punching check area under all columns and in the 3d as you see it is created like this okay now I can go to the design punching shear and all have been designed and as you see all pass if I go here and right click on any punching check area then check punching shear base it is all pass as shown in the calculations and now I can create a report and from here I can go to material list and show report so this is for report about the material listing then I can export to Excel and I can open by Excel concrete beams, columns, slab, mat, all details, mass area and the reinforcement and the total mass for concrete and reinforcement all details can be given here and I can create drawings by going to draw then from here I can go to drawing management and general arrangement add content I drag the levels ok layout ok then view drawings and select the scale 1 to 50 like and the drawing will be opened by AutoCAD like that here as you see the raft general arrangement and here the first floor slab also we can create slab mat detailing and foundation layout we click slab mat detailing and 1 to 50 then as you see this is the reinforcement for the raft foundation And here also schedule slab top and bottom reinforcement and here the reinforcement the mass total length total mass we can also create foundation layout drawing as you see and we can create beam schedule there is no beam included here so I have to go to the first floor 
I can create the beam schedule. This is the beam schedule for all beams. Dimensions, bottom bars, top bars, stirrups, and comments. And here the bar bending schedule, cutting length, and the dimension, everything. Also, I can create a column schedule, select all columns and create schedule. This is the column schedule, as you see, it's created with the reinforcement. Like this, I can create the drawings. Okay, we are reaching the end of this video. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.